In this video, I'm going to solve three similar questions here. You can observe the pattern here. Now, the idea over here will be like this. That is, uh, if I write the first one, that is i is equal to integration. Let's say what is the denominator here. This is denominator is cos. This is x minus a and cos x minus b. Now, if your denominator is in terms of... Uh, what you have to write, irrespective where the denominator is in terms of uh, cos or it is in terms of sine. By that I mean to say here it is cos and here it is sine. So irrespective whether it's a uh, cos or sine will be always writing the identity of sine in the numerator. So I'll be writing sine this minus this. So this is sine x minus b minus x minus a. Now check here, th this is what, this if I write in the expanded form, this is x minus b minus x plus a. So this is actually sine a minus b. So since we have multiplied with sine a minus b, we need to divide it. So now I'm going to divide it by one over one over sine a minus b. Now let's uh, do the remaining part of this sum where we'll be doing the expansion here. Now this will be as it is, that is one over, this is sine a minus b. For the remaining part, I'm going to expand using sine a minus b, right? Sine a minus b is what? Sine a cos b, sine a cos b and then minus cos sin b. So why not uh, split this now only? This I'm splitting over here. This is cos x minus a cos x minus b. Basically, this is sin a cos b minus cos a. This is cos a sin b and I can put an another integration sign here. So this is cos x minus a into cos x minus b. Now check here what is getting cancelled here is cos x minus a getting cancelled here and cos x minus b get cancelled here. So what we are left with is now i is equal to 1 over sin a minus b integration, what we are left with here is tan, right? You can see here. This is tan and tan, tan x minus b. And from here, this is tan x minus a. So this is integration tan x minus b and we have a minus sign here this is tan x minus a now what is the integration of tan if i write over here so this is 1 over sin x minus a this being copied here times tan is tan integration is minus log For cos, it is minus log cos, right? So minus log cos x, that means minus log mod cos, this is cos, cos x minus b. And then for this, there is already a minus sign. So minus minus will become plus. So this is log mod cos x minus a. Now if I apply the property over property of log a minus b, if I apply the property of log a minus b, so what's going to be? So applying the property of log, what you can see here that is, uh, is going to be 1 by sine x minus a 
and log a minus log b is what? So I can write this as log a over b. So a being this x minus a divided by cos x minus b plus c. That should be our answer for the first part. Now let's see how we do the second one. Now similar to the previous question here, we'll be multiplying here and dividing by what? Let's say if I write down the question part first, this is i is equal to, this is integration 1 over sine x minus a into sine x minus b. Same as to the previous question, we'll be writing the numerator as sine this minus this. That means sine x minus b minus x minus a dx. So technically this is also, if I see what, what is it, if I open the bracket, it is x x get cancelled is a minus b. So we'll be dividing it by sine a minus b. Now what i is equal to now, this is sine a minus b. Now applying the property here, that is sine a minus b, right? This is sine a minus b is what? Sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. That divided by, if I divide it individually, this is sine x minus a into sine x minus b. And over here, it's the uh, same thing. That is sine x minus a into sine x minus b. Now, what is getting cancelled over here? I can see in the first part, this is... Uh, sine x minus sine x minus we get cancelled right and over here it's sine x minus a get cancelled so this is i is equal to 1 over sine a minus b this is integration of what scott right scott Integrate. This is basically um, applied integration. This is uh, cot x minus a and minus integration. This is cot x minus b. Now, integration of cot is what? Sine, log sine. So we'll be doing that only. So I'll do the final part here. So now I'll write i is equal to, this is 1 over sine a minus b. This is cos, this is cot, right? So cot, the integration of cot x is what? This is log sine x. So this should become what? Log sine x minus a and minus log sine x minus b. Now what we can write in the final step, applying the property of log, log a minus log b is log a by b. So it's going to be log sine x minus a divided by, it's a mod sine, sine x minus b. So this is how the second part can be solved. Now we are on the third part. Unlike the uh, last two part, here this is in terms of x plus a and x plus b instead of minus. Right In the last two questions, that was minus. So we'll be writing i is equal to, this is uh, integration. This is 1 over cos x plus a into cos x plus b. 
So what I told you that uh, irrespective the denominator is cos or sine, we'll be writing sine only in the numerator. So I'll be writing sine and we have to take plus, right? So this is this minus this. This is dx. Now you can figure out in this case, this is actually the one which you have written here is, we have written is, uh, minus C plus B that is, we'll be dividing it by sine B minus A dx. The next part I is equal to one over this is sine B minus A integration. Applying the property of sine A minus B is what sine A cos B sine A cos B minus cos sine B cos A sine B and this divided by cos X plus A into cos X plus B. So if I place an another integration here and divide it again, this is cos x plus a into cos x plus b. Now what is getting cancelled here is this is plus, right? This is plus. Right, what we are getting cancelled here, this, this is getting cancelled in this case and here this get cancelled. So we are left with what? This is i is equal to 1 over sine b minus a and this is what tan this is integration tan x plus b right? sine by cos is tan minus integration tan x minus this plus dx. Now same as the previous part, we'll be applying the integration of tan. So this is i is equal to, this is one over sine p minus a and integration of tan is minus log mod cos x plus b and this will be another minus for this also but then there is a, already a minus sign so I'll be writing plus log mod cos x plus a. Now if I simplify this further this is going to be same here b minus a Applying log A minus log B is log A by B. So that's going to be log A over B. And a small space here. So let's shift it a bit like that. So this is going to be log A minus B that is positive over negative. So that is, this is cot, what I wrote? Cos, yeah, cos is correct. This is cos X plus A over cos X plus B, this is mod plus C. That's the answer.